the world did he keep it together and then find the open receiver? Baltimore versus Cincinnati may have been the game of the year. The NFL has no business putting these two elite quarterbacks anywhere but Sunday night football. There are so many things to talk about in this game. I don't even know where the title is going to come from. But things really started getting exciting in the second. The first saw Baltimore playing their game. One really long drive leading to a touchdown. Full credit to Cincinnati for the first half especially. Derrick Henry was almost fully contained, although he did get a touchdown. But things really started to get exciting about halfway through the second with Honestly, one of the best punts you can possibly ask for. Ryan Rico just blasts one 66 yards and Cincinnati gets a hand on it, stopping it on the two yard line. Out kicking the special teams and managing to keep it in bounds in such a small window is just so impressive and it nearly turned the game. Rico, by the way, has a really cool story. He was a free agent picked up by the Bengals after an injury to their other punter, Brad Robbins. He's been playing so well that they released Robbins and Rico is the guy now. But as I said, this almost changed the game as directly after the Bengals completely bungle a run and since he gets the safety. The rest of the half would see a pretty bad missed pass interference, a tush push, and eventually a Bengals touchdown after a bomb by Joe Burrow. Honestly, I was feeling pretty good for Cincy, especially where they were coming out with the ball after halftime. And after another Burrow bomb, they'd get another touchdown on the first drive of the second half, setting the lead to 24-14. A good opening game for the Baltimore Ravens was turning around very quickly. But Lamar was putting in work this game. As good as Joe Burrow and really everyone in the game looked, Lamar was a standout. He'd lead the Ravens up the field for a touchdown, setting up what would be an absolute shootout in the fourth. And you can't ignore Joe Burrow as well. The dude went 30 for 39, 392 yards, five touchdowns. Just ludicrous. And honestly, Lamar was less efficient. 26 for 42, 348 and 4. Every time the Ravens would make it close, the Bengals would respond with a Joe Burrow touchdown. Jamar Chase had an incredible touchdown. At this point, Kevin Harlan was becoming increasingly more excited, which is so fun to see. Jamar Chase touchdown! But undoubtedly, the play everyone will be talking about. Halfway through the final quarter, Lamar fumbles the snap. He has to roll out. He absolutely demolishes Sam Hubbard, a 265-pound D lineman with a stiff arm and hits likely for the touchdown. Just an incredible sequence of events. But for a chance, the defense would have to come up big, and they did when it was all looking fairly hopeless with an interception on the Ravens' 30-yard line. The Ravens would move downfield, score a field goal. The Bengals would be unable to do anything with the time remaining. That would lead to overtime. The Ravens would then go on to fumble on the 50-yard line. Cincinnati basically set up to win here with the field goal since Baltimore's already had a possession. But all the kicking luck went to that punt in the second quarter as this one was shanked easily wide. For Baltimore's possession, they went with their bread and butter. Ricard at fullback, Henry at running back. King Henry with a massive 51-yard run to set up the field goal and the victory. Again, game of the year in my opinion. So exciting. So many great moments. Initially, when watching the first time, I thought the punt would have to be the focus, but I don't know. Cincinnati looked so good for portions of this game. The announcers were talking about how classic Cincy start off slow, find their groove, and become deadly but they've now suffered a serious setback going 1-4 to start the season off. That 51-yard run notwithstanding, Derrick Henry had a pretty quiet game even though he picked up that touchdown, but was reliable for the 4 or 5 yards whenever he touched the ball. Pretty much all of the receiving core for Baltimore also saw action during this victory, which is why they're so deadly. Lamar gets out, he can run, he picked up 55 yards in this, or he can hit one of like 13 guys. But that's all I've got. Let me know what you thought of the game down below.